tripartite budget is ready because of the monetary reform success. Tripartite budget is ready because of the monetary reform success. The Parliamentary Finance Committee announced that it will begin discussing the 2025 budget schedules early next November. Member of the Finance Committee, Mohamed Nouri, said in a statement to the official newspaper, followed by Mawazine News, the committee reiterated that employees' salaries are fully secured until the end of the current year, and there is no delay. He added that the committee is working through its meetings with financial specialists in the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank to address the delay in financing governorate allocations and ongoing projects, and to launch project packages in the coming few days. Nori indicated that the committee will begin discussing the 2025 budget schedules early next November, in order to ensure employees' salaries, project allocations, and other financial obligations. Gold prices edged up on Monday as an escalation in the Middle East conflict pushed investors to safe haven assets, while traders awaited inflation data this week for further clues on the Federal Reserve's rate cut path. Spot gold was up 0.2% at 2,658.07 per ounce by 11.30 GMT. U.S. gold futures edged up about 0.4% at 2,677.90. Gold prices are caught in a tug of war between a strengthening U.S. dollar and ongoing safe haven demand, likely keeping them near current levels. Upcoming U.S. economic data may be the deciding factor in breaking this stalemate, said Ricardo Evangelista, senior analyst at Active Trades. The market now awaits minutes of the Fed's last policy meeting and U.S. Consumer Price Index and Producer Price Index data this week. This week's CPI data is crucial for anticipating what the Fed would do, but I'm not expecting a surprise because the market is already pricing an almost 100% chance that the Fed will look at a rate cut by only 25 basis points said Kinesis Money Market Analyst Carlo Alberto da Casa. Traders now see a 95% probability that the Fed will cut rates by only a quarter of a percentage point next month, after a U.S. employment report on Friday pointed to a resilient economy that will probably prompt the central bank not to deliver large interest rate cuts for the rest of this year. The dollar recovering and going up wouldn't be a good scenario for gold but despite that bullion has managed to remain steady, confirming a strong interest of investors for bullion. Apart from that, geopolitical tensions have also supported gold demand, said de Casa. Israel bombed targets in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip on Sunday ahead of the one-year anniversary of the October 7 attacks that sparked the current conflict. Spot silver fell 0.6% to 31.98, platinum lost 0.4% at 986.15 and palladium rose 0.9% to 1020.78.